Um, the one thing about uh, I started using Docker for the dev environment was for a simple reason. I, we build Deb Debian packages for everything we send into production. So whatever we build, in, a, in all our repositories, there's always a makefile, whether you use a makefile or not. And in that makefile, there's a rule called CF package. So everybody knows that he can as go to a build server, go into the repository, check out the repository, and type make CF package, and he'll get a Debian package ready. So what started to annoy me is I spent my time SSHing to a build server, checking out the Git code, verifying that it's on the right rep uh, version, verifying that the build servers had all the right things installed and everything, build the package, copy the package, upload the package, that, that took too much time. So what I, one of the first things I did was uh, with Docker was to automate, I wanted to build these packages on my local machine. So for this, I did something pretty simple. We already had, I already know, knew that everything was built with makecf package. So we have a tool called CF Setup, which uh, is our current tool to to build dev environments and everything. And what I'm demoing is a part of CF Setup v2. So it's a rewrite that uses Docker for a bunch of things. So what happens when I want to build a package now? I, for example, go into one of the packages, like for example, Lua. I want to. We use Lua a lot, and imagine I want to build Lua JIT. So this one, I'm going to delete whatever was built before. So, so now if I want to build Lua JIT, all I have to type is CF setup, build, enter. And what happens here is it goes and downloads the latest tarball of Lua JIT, builds it. Luigi is pretty quick to build. We should be done in a second. And yeah, and creates a Debian package that is now in my local directory. I'm not in a container anymore. All that everything you see scrolling down was happening in a Docker container, in a Debian container to be more precise. My laptop is an Arch Linux laptop, so it generally doesn't build Debian packages. But in this case, it build a not only it build a, it build a dev package, but it's a dev package that I can use in production. I can now send it to production directly and use it. So that's one of the advantages. Yes. I'll interrupt you for five seconds. Go ahead. <laughs> we'll live without it. I SSH to my laptop to be able to do the screen sharing, but apparently it doesn't work. So that's one of the simple things. Whatever I want to build, I want to be able to build locally. And I want to be able to develop my code with my Vim on my machine, with my configuration. I don't want to be, have to ship configuration files around. I want to use a graphical Vim, all that stuff. And then in the end, I want my artifacts to be in my local directory as if I had, do an, I have, I had done a normal build. I even can inspect the the rest of the stuff here, uh, that's all the build files and everything. And if I want to build, for example, right now we're using uh, what's a Squeeze as a Debian, but if I want to build it for something, for Wheezy, which we're migrating to, which is the latest version of Debian, well, I just type minus minus flavor Wheezy, which is not the default since we don't use it yet, and it's going to build a dev package again for Wheezy. So now I never ever SSH to the build, build server anymore. People, not everybody uses this yet. I still have to show them, but they will as well. One other thing uh, I can do with this, then, the next logical step was, so why don't we replace everything, all our scripts with Docker, uh, and why do we run everything in containers? So the idea was remove, throw away all the old scripts and build containers to reproduce like a mini Cloudflare like I said, a lot of data centers. I want to be able to spawn one data center locally, another data center locally, um, databases locally, just like you saw in the previous presentation. And I want to be able to simulate a full Cloudflare environment on my laptop. Then what this enables me to do is then I can build uh, servers for continuous integration that are going to build the packages, that are going to register the packages with our um, package uh, um, package server, and also 
all the other developers don't have to build the packages all the time. They just have to spawn new, new ones. One thing, for example, one example I have is that I can do is we have something that we call the crawler, which crawls our websites to be able to put them in, off, in cache for when they are offline, and a bunch of other features. And that was the first one I converted because that's a project I actually did, and I, I wanted to be able to test it locally. We deploy everything in production with something called Salt, which is kind of like Chef and Puppet. And this is why the container that's going to be spawned here is actually the same one as the same uh, kind of environment as we have in production. So it will build with Salt. It will do everything that uh, he showed previously with Chef Solo. It's kind of the same thing, but with Salt. So when I type spawn, it just gives me a container ID. And when I look at it, it's currently building. You can see. It's downloading the devs and everything. And I know this is not the kind of stuff you want to do in Docker world. In the Docker world, you want to snapshot it and keep the result. But in this case, I'm explicitly building it to test not only the build, but also the salt scripts, and also test the final result, which is going to run on a bare metal node, with uh, the same, th but it's going to be exactly the same thing that's happening here. So the build takes a bit, and now it's running. And what's actually running right here is, this node is actually connected through our VPN to the production, is actually doing some work right now. And um, it's running locally on my machine, but here you can see PhantomJS crawling, crawling. And now I can stop it again and it will stop crawling. I did not implement CF setup stop, so docker stop. Oh, how do you copy paste on this? So, let's see. And then it stops. So that's the idea. Uh, right now it's very early. But the idea is replicate the production 100%. Uh, we'll see later how we get uh, containers into production. That's also something we want to do. But the most urgent thing right now is to build a dev environment where we can onboard developers in 10 seconds instead of two days. That's the most important thing. And like you see, it's not running anymore. And that's it. Yeah, so that's kind of it. We, I built it. Around Docker, I used uh, I, and I also had a Python. It's in Python. I also had a similar Python file like he had with environments and IPs and stuff. So yes, there's definitely something to do there. And uh, that's it. Um, another little quick demo. I can also go into a little atop. I can do CF setup build, and it builds this other project. And uh, Everything is geared toward making it fast, so I'll maybe I'll even put a proxy in there. So I already have one for APT packages, and there I have a dev that is done. So that's the idea, making development easier on local machines, and from there we will extrapolate to production. That's it. You can, uh, because uh, we're actually migrating to salt as well at the same time. And so every time I'm changing one of my things to salt, uh, to, to salt I'm changing it for dev and production. And uh, right here, it doesn't spawn a minion because it uses the it uses it locally, just like Chef Solo. Right. No server. But if I want, I could have connect, uh, it connect, uh, I also have an environment where I have it connect to a local master. Uh, I can bootstrap, uh, I didn't show it, but there's also a CF set of bootstrap that starts from nothing and builds the images, puts, uh, builds, also it builds the Docker files to build the images and puts a can spawn a chef image, uh, not chef, uh, salt master image and things like this. And then the, it spawns a local yes. Docker chef master and then spawns. Yes, that's if, if I want to test it, uh, the whole pipeline through. But the, I, as long as it's not needed, I will avoid putting a local uh, salt master. 